Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jen Frerich, and I have recently signed on with LuLaRoe. I'm not an official consultant yet. I am what they call in the queue, which means I have submitted all my paperwork. I haven't officially onboarded yet. There's like a six to eight week period where you wait after you submit all your paperwork to when you officially onboard. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about just starting up with being a LuLaRoe. I know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there and there's constantly new ones being added. So this is most up to date as of signing on in late December. I signed up on December 28th, 2016. So I'm not very good at YouTube. Honestly, I've, I've I don't know how to add music, I don't know how to do fancy slides, I don't know how to edit it. So what you see is what you get. You'll see me go to turn it off at the end. So bear with me. And I try to keep I will try to keep it short and sweet. So this is my first time. Bear with me. Okay, so I onboarded, like I said, or not onboarded, I signed up on December twenty eighth. I expect to get my call to be a consultant somewhere around mid-February. I have a friend that, that submitted all her paperwork on November 27th, and she just got her call today, which is January 11th, 2017. So they say it's about six to eight weeks. I haven't done the math to see exactly how long it was for her. Um, and it seems like a really long time. I think especially when you are in the queue, it seems like an extremely long time, but you're going to need it, honestly. You're definitely going to need it. I did as much research as humanly possible before I even submitted my paperwork. A lot of people do their paperwork and then look into it, which is fine. That works too. But I wanted to be more than prepared. I probably watched, I don't know, maybe a couple days worth of hours of YouTube videos and did lots of Pinteresting, lots of, lots of reading blogs, lots of looking at other consultants' Facebook pages and all that stuff. Oh my gosh, I spent so much time looking into it because it's scary. It's scary. There aren't very many businesses where you have to buy the inventory first before you sell it. So it's very intimidating. And I, I do think you need to be extra prepared. So here I thought the hardest part was going to be getting inventory or supplies. It, it wasn't. That was actually easy. Okay. I don't like shopping, but I do love Amazon Prime, and I got 99% of my supplies from Amazon Prime, and it comes in two days. Easy part. There are a million lists out there telling you what to get. I won't get into that, because you can find those extremely easily, and that doesn't really change from month to month. The hard part, though, I have found is trying to figure out how to link up all your social medias. My biggest concern was keeping my personal stuff separate from my business stuff. Oh, as I get confused easily. Um, you know, my Instagram separate from my business Instagram. My Facebook separate from my business Facebook. So trying to figure out how to make all that happen and toying around with it and making sure that nothing, you know, if I post something on my Facebook that I'm not accidentally posting on my business Facebook, you know? Um, and they also, they have, um, they have names that they want you to use for your social media. So that can be tricky too. I accidentally made like an add-on Instagram name onto my main account. How do I explain this? 
like with my regular email address and then I added that on as my business one that wasn't working well it was linking to my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page instead of my business one every once in a while I had to keep like going in and changing settings or like logging out of Facebook on my phone so that it wouldn't link to my personal one and so I decided to delete that and just make a different Instagram account with with a different email address that I would use for my business one only it wouldn't let me use that name anymore that I had used which was what you're supposed to use according to the um, the policies and procedures you know that that way people can easily find you so that that was tricky I had to kind of reward it differently in order to get it to work so stuff like that just toying around with I, I consider myself fairly good with social media as far as Facebook and Instagram and all that but I've never had to separate my personal life from other things so it, it's a learning curve it really is also I gotta figure out how to when I take pictures how to get them to my tablet I would rather take pictures with my phone and have them sync to my tablet so I'm playing around with Dropbox so I can get those two devices to connect easily I'm trying to figure out what program is best for um, doing a layout when I take pictures um, a lot of people have like the signs in the background which is good too but I, I want to do like the layout with like a little grid where like you know there's a close-up picture that talks about what size it is and, and then it has my logo and then a big picture on the side you know toying around with that um, I'm looking into the different kind of programs where you will be doing your selling because Facebook limits you to 20 pictures uploading at a time now which is pretty much impossible considering you start off with well over 300 pieces of clothes that's gonna take you hours to upload just because it'll only let you do 20 at a time so you need to look into outside programs which you pay for monthly like Shop the Row, um, Swift Order, Boutique 360 that's all that's coming to me right now there's a few options out there though and then once you figure out which one of those you like which they all have pros and cons then you gotta figure out if it's going to link up to what shipping program you want to use there's also, I mean, there's stamps, there's, um, oh, what's that one? The one I was going to use, Shipping Easy. That's the one that most people use. Um, and some people use, like, eBay somehow. I don't know. There's different options. And then also, how you're going to print your shipping labels. If you're going to use the Dymo 4XL, which is ideal everybody wants that crazy expensive so I, I don't have one of those yet I'm watching for a good sale then you know you have to use certain programs for that so it, it all just gets it gets kind of overwhelming it really does so I think that six to eight weeks is well well needed to get all your ducks in a row not just the supplies not just your business cards and the hostess packets and all that stuff practicing you gotta practice on Periscope and Facebook live and all that because you, you know you'll want to get out there you want you want people to see what you're like I'm, I'm not gonna be everybody's cup of tea but I'll be some people's cup of tea uh, and you, you want to be able to bond with your consultants and I say consultants because you should have more than one consultant you should. I I will gladly send somebody to a different consultant if I don't have something one of my customers is looking for. Seriously. Because everybody has a different inventory. It's not a competition. You're gonna be put into um into some Facebook groups when you sign on. And it's amazing. The women in there are amazing. I don't see any bros in mine yet. 
I'm sure they're out there though. There's tons of Lula Bros. They're awesome. The ones I've seen are awesome. Um, so I don't want to make it sound like it's only for women. But it's seriously, you guys, they talk, talk to you about how amazing it is, how tight-knit everybody is. And it's true. It's true. Everybody has everybody's back in there. I never see anybody being mean to anybody. Um, it's all very helpful. Sorry, my cat just came in. I'm just throwing a fit. Um, they're good. And it's, it's a very welcome community. And if you have any little question, people share where they got stuff on sale. They share their experiences with um, trying these different programs and all that. So that's extremely helpful. Oh, cat. Um, sorry, it's really distracting. Um, so that, that is helpful. That is helpful. It, it kind of gets me in trouble, though, because I will spend many hours scrolling through the Facebook page, pages, and learning as much as I can. I'm a researcher, I guess. So, just, there's a lot of things to do to get your ducks in a row. You also have to look into what packages you want. There's, right now there's three different packages and an add-on. I plan on going with the cheapest package. And once you get your call, you are open to order whatever you want. Once, you know, once you get your call and you buy the initial inventory. They open it up for you to buy whatever additional inventory you want. So I'm going with the cheapest package. And then I plan on at least ordering leggings because leggings, those are, you know, the gateway item to the rest of the items. Everybody loves leggings. Um, so Definitely need lots of leggings, so I, I will be ordering those immediately. Um, and I'll be using them for giveaways, too. I'm, I'm really excited to do giveaways. I definitely want to do that to pump people up. So, so you gotta look into those packages, and, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, totally lost my train of thought. My cat is very distracting. That's another thing I have to look into, is what to do with the animals, because they will not be by my clothes. Okay, well I don't want to make this too long, it's already pushing 13 minutes. So, I will let you guys go, and I will try to keep you updated on what's happening as far as if I hear if the queue is moving faster or slower, or if they change the packages, because I know it's nice to be up to date on what all the changes are. So. This is current as of January 11th, 2017. Okay? Alright, I'll catch you later, Freebirds.